Hi, I'm Carson Thompson, director of The Reform. Today we will follow Draven Dehos, the story of a drug addict. This is Draven Dehos, a 38-year-old man who is addicted to drugs. But what got Dehos into drugs? Here, we ask his friends. So, uh, how do you know Draven Dehos? Uh, football, back in like 2002, we were in the state championship. And in those locker rooms, they were quite rowdy, dude. Draven Dehos was a star football wide receiver at Quandale Dingle Academy, putting up 50 touchdowns in one season. Many colleges offered for Draven to join their school. Instead, he shows me his room. So this is my room. Uh, this is my refrigerator. This is where you, this is where you can get a bevy. This is the bathroom. It's where I do my business. Now this, this is great. This is probably my favorite part. Danny's pillow sheets. Uh, what what's that on the uh, on the desk there? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Are you about. doing drugs again? No. With struggles to pay for rent, Draven asks a friend for help. Hey Danny, it's me, Draven. Can I stay here tonight? I have nowhere else to go. You, dude, no. Why not, man? You let me do it before. Last time you spent the night here, you literally- I woke up in the middle of the night with you jerking off right next to me with my pillow sheets. Bro, that was five years ago. That was in high school, you know? Hormones. Five years ago? That was just a couple months ago. I'm sorry. You know, the drugs, they like fuck with my hey, memory. Hey, hey, dude. He's not gonna let you in. I'm trying. I've been here for like a week or two. How the, how the fuck did I not see you when I walked up here? And how did I not see you? I literally live here. Hey, while you're at it, can you give me some of the soup? I saw you making it like... No, music. you're not getting any of the soup either. I it's, said no. It's cold out here. I don't care if it's cold. Go somewhere else then. Also, I got your blanket for some reason. How did you get... How did you even get in the house? How did you get in the house? Anyways, man, like, please, like, I'm begging you. I have nowhere else to go. Can I at least stay for a week until no, I, I find I, somewhere? Dude, I don't even have any space, even if I wanted to let you in. Bro, there's a fucking empty couch right there. I can see it. So, uh, how do you know Draven Dehos? Well, uh, I used to go to high school with them. We'd play football. You know, we were both pretty good. He was, no, he was really good. He could have been D1. He got all those scholars. He had everything. Then he started getting into drugs. I don't know really where he got them, but he just got into them. He started acting way different. Like, he lost all of his motivation. A popsicle? He want one. After multiple attempts of getting him to quit, his friends have one final resort. We, we'll, we'll explain. We should use a taxi, man. Draven, this is an intervention to help you. You're not Batman. You're not. Dude, wait. That's next week. Oh, shit. What's this week? This week's about heroin. <laughs> I thought we were here for a birthday. That's in two weeks. Oh. But anyways, Draven, we care about you. You need to stop with the drug abuse. Why? Dude, you brought your brother. Do you see how much he cares for you? He wants you to be better. You can see, you can't be in these drugs 24-7. I'm the best I've ever been in my entire goddamn life. No, you're you can't not! be in the best! That's a lie! You're missing a rib! You're, you're missing a rib! It's fucking cool. It looks cool. No, so it doesn't! See, it's gross! See, no, see? I don't no. want to see it. We don't want to see your missing rib. But you need to stop with the drugs. Look at us. We're here to help you. And you're just digging a deeper hole for yourself. Well, how, what, how am I supposed to quit? Quit. Find other hobbies. Find something to occupy your mind other than the heroin. Like I crack. you go occupy yourself into getting some bitches. What I miss, guys? Fuck off, Keegan. They appear to be unsuccessful. So, uh, how did you meet Draven Dehos? Well, we actually met him at a, at a bar in Tallahassee. And, uh, you know, he was... Seemed like a really good guy. He was down there playing baseball for a select team, something like that. And, oh man, can he drink? Guys, he, he he's having oh in 20 God. minutes, let's go! Inside tea, bro! I am like, go! I love fucking tea! 
Hey man, got any coke? Hey, get the fuck out of here. Damn man, fuck. So when you're doing like a game session with Draven D host, uh, what what does that go like? What, what do you guys play, like Magic or? Yeah, we play Magic the Gathering, but lately he's been off and I'm, I'm concerned about his drug abuse. Like he's, he's always like scratching at himself and stuff like that. He can never focus anymore, it's sad. Now, we will look at Dijos' relationship with his brother. Get out. Go. Go. Piece of shit. With so many loving friends and family, I ask Dijos why he continues to use. So look, it's obvious that you have friends who care about you. What's stopping you from quitting the drugs? Because when I'm on drugs, I can be whatever I want to be. I don't have to be in this stupid-ass reality. <sighs> even with the cost of your friends? And even your brother? You know what? Fuck my brother. Fuck my friends. Especially Danny. Danny didn't even let me stay in his house. Like, he says he's my friend, doesn't let me stay in his house. That doesn't make sense to me. What's that in the sky? Oh shit, that's the bathroom. Well, I gotta go. Welcome back to The Reform, a Draven Deho story. Drugs, addiction, but how do we get Draven Deho to quit? Here, I talk to his sponsor. So tell me, how's the, uh, how's the progress going with Draven? It's going good so far. I mean, he's been trying to find new hobbies to take up. Like, recently, he's actually taken up yard work. And he's wanted to be like helping everyone around the house. Um, he's also expressed the feelings of wanting to be a boxer. Oh. He just shows that like aggression. He just wants to take it out. It's a way to really get rid of that built up emotion. He goes to drugs because he has a lot of emotion. He doesn't know how to resolve it. He's a broken man, and really, we're just I'm just trying to you know get him on the right place. Um. Well, he's very lucky to have you. Yeah. You know, I guess you could say my relationship to Mr. D. Hose is that we're pretty good friends, you know. Um, we used to go to school together, you know, back in the day. Um, you know, we both went down our separate paths, but to be honest, I'm very shocked to see, you know, where he ended up. I'd never expected him to, to be on drugs. Like, I, he lost a rib. I mean, I don't know. Like, he was good at sports. Academically, he was very good you know very well he had straight A's I think and then one day he just came in and he was all over the place it's, it sucks to see man well, I can't lie I did give him drugs sometimes but I, mean, I, I wouldn't say I started it but. after many months of using drugs Draven will now begin the two month journey into rehab so um you know, now, now that you're all clean and stuff, I, I gotta ask, um, who, who was giving you the drugs, man? Oh, that was Danny. What? Yeah. You didn't know? He has, like, a whole record of him being a drug dealer for, like, seven years. But doesn't the story of Draven Dijos motivate you to stop doing drugs? Fuck no! 